Hi guys, <clears throat> this is in response to Polly Yap's question to me while I was eating in Jollibee. Yeah, she really intercepted me while I was eating in Jollibee and asked me this question about it, about the clamper circuit. So she gave me a circuit and then she asked me to solve about it. So this is a clamper circuit I have here, a summary of a clamper circuit. By the way, just to give you a brief introduction, a clamper circuit is called such because it clamps the signal. Say for example, if you have here an input. wait where is it if you have an input here so what it does is that it clamps this signal so that it is raised higher or either it's raised lower see what it does is just clamp the signal either higher or upper so unlike the clipper that it clips some portion of the signal it basically cuts some portion of the signal but in a clamping network whatever the input is it's still the output however it's just an another level either it's higher or lower so that's a clamper circuit so the circuit that she was asking me is this one so how do you analyze this circuit so that you get this output so given so what if you're given an input of this one, so how do you analyze the circuit so that you'll get this part here? So the first thing that you're going to do is analyze the circuit wherever the diode gets forward biased. So in this case, so in this case the, the diode gets forward biased during the negative half cycle. So during the negative half cycle, is where you're gonna analyze it first. So during the negative of cycle, the polarity of the source is here, the plus is here, the minus is here, and then the, the diode is forward bias, so your flow is going here. So if you're considering a silicon diode, so your diode has a 0.7 drop here. And also during the, the negative of cycle, your capacitor gets charged by up to VI minus 0 0.7 so this is given that the diode is a silicon diode however for a germanium diode you're gonna use 0 0.3 so if this is a silicon diode so your your capacitor gets charged by VI minus 0 0.7 and then your VO which is this part here is equal to negative 0 0.7 so at the negative of cycle at this part here it's negative 0 0.7 However, in this example, we're just assuming that the diode is an ideal diode, so that's why we have a zero flat here. However, if this is a silicon diode, we're going to expect that it's below zero by 0 0.7, so we have a VO of negative 0 0.7 during the negative half cycle. So after that, we're going to analyze it now to the positive half cycle however during the positive half cycle it was already known that the capacitor already has a charge of vi minus 0.7 and then in the positive half cycle the polarity is this one so your flow now becomes this and this one is reverse bias during the positive half cycle so what happens is you have here vi and then this is in series with another voltage source we have vi minus 0 0.7 so somewhat it forms like a battery so you have vi and then vi minus 0 0.7 so your vo now is equal to 2vi minus 0 0.7 so that's why during the positive of cycle you have this one okay so it's very easy just remember that this circuit the clamper circuit is best analyzed whenever or wherever the diode gets forward bias and then after that analyze the another cycle where the diode gets reverse bias okay that's for that's that's all for now so thank you hope you hope you learned something from this tutorial